quick chat about lemon balm. Now, lemon balm is amazing. It smells great, it tastes great. It's this plant right here. Um, it has several different uses, but two of the main uses would be to nourish your nervous system and soothe your digestive tract. So if you have an upset stomach or nausea or, you know, some type of um, stomach bug, you can take lemon balm and it'll instantly soothe that feeling. Um, you can also take it to just kind of calm you down, bring you kind of just back down from any type of stress or anxiety that you might be going through. Um, it's just very calming to the nervous system. It helps you sleep at night as well. So a lot of different uses and you can utilize it in so many different ways from adding it to soaps or you know salves, creams, even chapstick. Um, you can put them in teas and pestos. Now my favorite would be to eat it raw because raw just has a lot more of the nutrients in the leaves and you know it's a little more potent um, none of the oils have evaporated um, out of the leaf so it's you know the essential oils are preserved a lot better that way now you can throw them on top of like i said salads or mix them into pestos and my favorite way to take it would be to infuse it in some water in cold water for about you can do it for four to eight hours or you can even do it overnight and what you would do is just take a few of the leaves add the, add it to some water um, you can mix in some other things like what I like to do is I, I like to mix in some stevia I have a stevia plant so I'll take some of the leaves from that plant and I will kind of crush it up and add that to the water and some uh, strawberry tops that I've dehydrated which I'll show you here what I do is um, when I'm using strawberries or um, you know in the kitchen processing them, instead of throwing away the tops, I used to compost them, but what I do now is I save them and I dehydrate them in an actual food dehydrator until they are completely dry. And I will throw some tops to the water and let that infuse and it just tastes so, so good. You can also do a hot tea, so if you want to steep some of the leaves using the same thing, stevia or honey, um, anything that you have really, add, you know, add that to it and anything that you like, you know, flavor combinations. Um, I like to just keep it simple and do lemon balm, stevia and um, the strawberry tops, but anything that you have and steep that for in, in some hot water for about 10 to 15 minutes and strain it and you have a really good drink as well, much quicker. Um, but you can also preserve it by drying the leaves so people have been doing this for centuries where you actually just grab a few uh, you know bunches of whatever herb you're wanting to dry it could be any herb any you know dandelion for instance or rosemary parsley thyme lemon balm mint and you would take the bunch and tie it up really tight and then you would hang it upside down inside the house for about a week until it is completely dry and crisp and free of any moisture. And then you um, preserve them, you add them to your glass containers or plastic if that's all you have. And it's good for a long time. So you can definitely do it that way. And by hang drying it, you're preserving a lot of the essential oils that are in those herbs. And you're also preserving a lot of the nutrients and even the color of the leaves that way. So it just preserves a lot better. It's a lot more potent. But if you don't have time for that, you can dehydrate them in a food dehydrator just on a very low setting. Just keep watching it. Or if you're really in a hurry, you can dry them outside, like on top of your car on a hot sunny day. Just put them on a rack and put them on top of the car and just watch it every half hour just to make sure that the sun doesn't burn the leaves and you're good to go. So hopefully this helped you out. Now I'm not a doctor and I suggest that you speak to your doctor if you're currently pregnant or on certain medications or have any health conditions just to make sure that you know you cover that with them before you start taking any herbs for any medicinal purposes but what i like to personally do this is just for me is um you know i do my own research and i you know utilize the herb to 
you know, for whatever it is that it's giving me, um, you know, medicinal purposes or just because I simply enjoy it. Also, they have a lot of vitamins and minerals in here that you can't get from, you know, conventional foods that we're eating on a daily basis. So I use it also just to nourish my body for the nutrition itself. Um, but I definitely find that Mother Earth has provided us everything that our, us humans need for any ailment. And thank you for sticking around and watching until the end.